Hey everybody, it's Steve from B&H Photo and I'm here today with David Saffer, a professional commercial photographer and fine art photographer. David, thanks for coming. Thank you. So why don't you tell us a little about this system? It's a complete kit for professional photographers and videographers that will help them harmonize their color in still and motion and videography and help them create greater efficiency and accuracy and such in post-production. Now when you say it's a complete system, so everything comes together? Everything comes together in one kit. We have what's called the Spider Cube, the Spider Checker, the Spider 4 Elite, and the software. Just starting with one of these devices, we have the Spider Cube. Right. And the Spider Cube is sometimes referred to as a, a 3D gray card. Uh, it has white, black, and uh, gray faces that you can use to set your dynamic range, your white and black points, and also your middle gray so that your color is neutralized. Why do we need a 3D gray card? Well, here's the thing. If you just look at this gray card, it's flat. You can't tell what direction your primary light source is coming from. When you have a three-dimensional device like the Spider Cube, the brightest side of it is going to be your primary light source, and that's the light so you source you should use to color correct from. Right. So no more having to shade the gray card or having to turn off the other lights so I just got my white. We don't need to do that anymore. You don't need to guess. Saves a lot of time on set then, I think. Saves some time, yeah. But there's some special construction about the cube. I mean, it's not just a simple veneer of white and gray. It's a very, very tough through and through polymer. Um, the color goes all the way through the polymer. You can scratch it. You could clean it with a scratchy pad. You can scrape it on the ground. It's not going to change its spectral performance. For demos, sometimes I throw it on the floor, which shocks people, but it's, it's pretty much indestructible. That's really nice to know because gray cards, you're replacing them every six months. They get dirty. They get this is really durable and nice. And it's got a little light stand adapter on the bottom? It has a tripod mount, a quarter 20 on the bottom. Which is a really nice feature. And what is the uh, shiny ball on top for? Well, the shiny ball is for specular highlights. So, for example, if you were shooting stills and you had the highlight warning enabled in your LCD on the back of the camera, if that was the only thing that was blinking, your exposure is probably correct. If that's blinking and your white panels are blinking, you're overexposed. If you can't see the black trap at the bottom, you're underexposed. So moving on from the cube, we have these guys here. These are called spider checkers. These are one of the better color control devices around that you could have is either a photographer or a videographer. Um, on the one side of it, it has all the sRGB primaries plus a white to gray ramp. Right. And you can use the whole chart to create color presets for your camera that would enable you to, with our software, to harmonize the color between a number of cameras or to simply calibrate the camera that you're using to be as accurate as possible. And of course, that helps you in post-production. Right, because now if you're shooting with multiple cameras, a GoPro, a 5D Mark III, a Canon C300 or a C500, and you wanted to balance them together, there's a perfect way to do that. And then also there's a little red dot over on the bottom there, which I find really cool. Oh, we have a fade checker, which uh, is a piece of pigmented material that shows through a window. It's exposed to light constantly. And there's another one that's covered up on the other side. So if you open up both panels and you compare them side by side, eventually the exposed panel will look faded and that's when it's time to replace the panels. Which is really nice because I've used a lot of color charts and you never know, are they really accurate anymore? Or just change them every year. What, what, what do you think the lifetime on this would be? It depends on the amount of light exposure. These are what we call spectrally neutral pigments. So they're in a way organic in nature and the more light exposure they get, the more affected they are. Anywhere from one to five years, depending on the amount of light exposure and usage that they right. get. Uh, one of the most important things to remember in terms of the longevity of these devices is to keep your fingers and dirt off of the panels. Right, because well, unlike the Spider Cube, they're very sensitive to grease and oil. Yeah, any kind of reflection or sheen or discoloration caused by foreign materials will affect the outcome. I really like that we actually finally have something that tells you, yes, it's time to change and get a new set. And it's much less expensive to replace the panels than it is the whole device. Right, well, that's good. That's good. Oh, I like that the panels are actually just replaceable. Mm -hmm. And then we have the, looks like the 4 Elite Pro. Yeah, the Spider 4 Elite comes as part of the HD kit. Uh, it has seven color sensors in it. It can be used to calibrate your computer-driven displays. It can also be used to calibrate your video-driven reference displays and field monitors. So, for example, you can calibrate a desktop display a reference monitor. You can even calibrate some of the Atomos displays. So if you've got a cage on a camera and you've got the Atomos mounted in the field, uh, you can also calibrate that device with 
spider technology, which is licensed to Atomos. And I like that because I've never actually used it, but that's a physical probe that we're putting on the screen. Yeah, it has a grid or a lens on the back side of it. You place that flat against the screen. You attach it to the computer. You run through the test patterns of the cutter patches. The software will read the results of the dose and direct you in adjusting the device. It's pretty fabulous. You said your computer display and then you were separately talking about, for example, a video display. Why is there a difference between the two in terms of calibrating them? Briefly, the computer driven display is controlled by the video or graphics card inside the computer. And the video or reference display is controlled by the guts of the display. So if you're calibrating the computer driven display, you're working through the spider software to write a loop right. to the video card. When you're working with a video reference display, you're working with the buttons on the display to adjust the different parameters of the display to get the right result. And a computer display and a video display can be far different. Far different. Um, typical video reference display right now, uh, a lot of the ones that I see in use are running at Rec. 709, which is a slightly clipped version of sRGB. But there's a lot of um, desktop computer displays that are running Adobe 98. So what people are doing is they're editing on their computer-driven displays, and then they have a third display, a video reference display, so that they can see what their final output is going to look like before they release it. So this That's is, just one example. And another example might be if you're working on, on something and then you're sending it to another place to do finishing work, you want to be able to maintain a consistent look throughout and have them see what you're working with. Yes, you do. So this all comes as one kit, you were saying? It's all in one kit for the first time this year. So we get the cube, the color charts, and the Spider 4 Elite Probe. So that's the new Data Color Spider HD. David, thanks for coming down and spending the day with us. Thanks very much. And I'm Steve from B&H Photo, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.